for whatever advertising they sell, and they're selling basically their own traffic, which might make more sense here. It's well, you, wait, you say it's lifetime, but if they quit selling, they quit collecting money, right? No, the opposite. If the buyer quits buying, they stop collecting. But if you, if you sell one person, and that person keeps paying for life, you keep earning for life. If you sell... What do you mean by sell? Okay. Our software takes web traffic from lots of little websites. Let's say uh, 500,000 websites, right? And each individual's traffic is worthless by itself. It's like pennies worth of web traffic. It's not worth marketing. It's not worth um, trying to sell it. It's not worth anything. Okay. But when you pull and aggregate it together, think of like a credit union. Okay. Then it, it has market value to an advertiser. So then, then our software enables the advertisers to bid against each other to get priced into these 500,000 websites and. In, in their position, okay, and because of their competitive nature, they bid their own price up to get to the highest and best uh, display, and whoever sold them that advertising gets 50% of whatever they're paying. Okay? So it's almost, it's almost like crypto mining. And you got it, like, except using web traffic as the the collateral or the hash power. Yeah. Okay. So, is this, um, is this MLM? Um, I don't think technically it is. I, think it is. I don't think technically it is. It's, it's multiple levels of commissions that you, somebody could earn, and but it's free. The software is free, and um, all the way down through because yeah. So wait a minute, if I sell five people and each of them 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 sell five people, uh, then I'm collecting some commission, I guess half the commission for 525 plus... Uh, yeah, you, you receive, you're, receiving, you're receiving a percentage of their sales, but you never get paid for recruiting anybody. So if you, recruit, right. if you recruit somebody and they don't sell, that's fine. You don't get much money. If they recruit somebody that doesn't sell, you still don't get anything. But if you are five levels down, somebody recruits the regional manager for McDonald's and they buy $100,000 of advertising a year, you make 50. No, you, you receive a percentage of that. Well, wait a minute. Are you recruiting people... We have websites that are going to place advertisements? Or uh, are you no, yes. Yes? Yes. So okay, so the manager of McDonald's would have uh, to go and sign up to advertise McDonald's at somebody's website. Well, why would he sign up at somebody's website? Because that's the only way you can sign up to get advertising. Well, I, I, yeah. So I... So I think maybe McDonald's might have been a bad analogy. Okay. You might, said, you might have said, like, Netflix might have recognized that so many people are buying DVDs on an e-commerce site. So they say, we want to draw people's attention to Netflix by posting an ad on that e-commerce site. Well, um, no, no, it's more like, um, I don't visit... Um, Steve's website, and he's got an article about um, Nginx, whatever, okay, and I'm like, oh, this is an interesting article, and then I happen to notice, he says, um, support my website, support my work, support my writing by buying advertising, and I click on the advertising link, and it says, well, thank you for joining, but if you advertise here on my website, you're also going to be jo advertised on 500,000 websites with this one registration. I'm like, wait, wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. So 
if, if, if I'm signed up for this thing, uh, I am duty bound to advertise anything. Um, that it's a, somebody signed up for. It's a it's a yellow pages type web directory. I can show you that if you like to see what it looks like. Yeah, because I'm not understanding this. I you know I thought I understood it and now I don't. Okay. So let's see. Ah, let me see. So I, as I was thinking, is he talking about trying to sign up five hundred thousand different websites? Yeah, yeah. their data and then sell nope. that to the highest bidder? Nope. Nope. Okay. So here we have a really bad um, WordPress website. Okay. And, um, hey man, that's my WordPress website. No, it isn't. <laughs> okay. So one of it, this, this software comes in three different versions, actually four um, a WordPress plugin, a PHP script for the other types of websites, an enterprise level, which is designed for the professionals in web, de web development, like, like developers and designers and hosting companies and SEO and advertising companies. Okay, that's got some extra features. But this one is really easy. It installs in five minutes for any WordPress website and enables them to earn Bitcoin in five minutes. Okay, so you click on advertise, and it's just one link. And it creates this web directory on their website, and it's all organized like this. And it basically brings in all the links and they look like this. And these are actual websites. When I, like I said, this was up under a different name. And so when a potential advertiser comes in and they see add a URL, they would click it. They would. Register, username, email, password, etc., title, description. They enter the URL and they select a category to advertise in and maybe a subcategory because there's some gaming theory. They might pick a location if they want to be filtered. Okay, you know, you they, they, are you talking about somebody with a business or somebody with a website that can do advertising? Oh. Both. And that's the unique feature of, of our, our product. So here, if, 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 let's not go down there. I'll have my presentation will deal with that because um, it's a really unique product when you have a website and you're dealing with web advertising. And what we by by uploading, we're creating a product. A product. My bill. My bill. Can you do? Well, I got a thing that he just joined. Welcome to Go Log, Bill. Welcome to Go Log, Bill. Got an echo all of a sudden. Got an echo all of a sudden. I think somebody's listening on live speakers rather than live speakers rather than echo. So Bill just joined. If so Bill just joined. If <laughs> okay. Can is the echo gone? Yeah. Okay. Let me let me continue on with the presentation. All right. So a lot of questions will probably I think will be answered now that you see what it looks like. But um. Okay. So the goals. Of Mana Network is one, provide low cost traffic to our members at wholesale prices. Provide. What do you mean by traffic? That's what you get when you buy advertising, right? You, you, see, there's a, yeah, you, 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 when you advertise on the internet, it comes to your website as web traffic. That's how you measure it. Are you buying traffic or are you buying clicks? It's the same thing. Well, no, one's a, when somebody it, clicks, it, when somebody it, clicks on your website, that's traffic. It's the same thing. Okay. Okay. So uh -huh. yeah, I, I use I use traffic, and and that's the term I use. Okay. So one second, it provides quality web traffic to 
non-members at retail prices. The key difference is members get it at wholesale and non-members get it at retail. So when you talk about a corporation, they're going to be paying our members retail prices where our own members receive a wholesale price when they buy advertising if they want it. Okay, so, all right. Second, third one is it provides the best return to website operators for their web traffic. Notice at the same time we're talking to buyers and sellers who are our members. So that's the key thing. And then because um, it's a, often it's a business to business um, thing. It's also, we're going to incorporate Learn and Learn Bitcoin as part of the goals. Okay. So the opportunity is creating the first and only cooperative ad network owned and operated by its members. We're also, at the same time, we're talking about the buyers and sellers who are our members. So that's the key. And then, because um, it's a, I can't hear anything, whoever that is, is saying. I hear you fine, Robert. You were, you were scratchy for 10 seconds and now you're fine. Okay, somebody was talking and it was just totally garbled. I don't know who, if that can repeat, if that was a question. No? Okay. All right, I'll keep going. Um, so, this is kind of what I'm asking GoLove to help help with, is participate in creating the first and only cooperative ad network owned and operated by its members, where all are compensated with cryptocurrency according to their sales. The cost is free, and as a fundraiser, yeah, I've got this little slogan set up, okay? I think of, and, and basically it says, some charities will sell chocolates, some charities sell cookies, some sell raffle tickets, we sell web advertising, okay? So you could have Little Eats, Girl Scouts, uh, all kinds of charities um, selling web advertising. And now, to, in order to be able to sell advertising, you have to have web traffic to sell, right? So it's a chicken and egg, chicken and egg situation. So now the rest of it is, is um, I'm going to try to get you guys to understand um, and I can't okay here we go okay so here, here's the problem with that actually got me working on this huge amounts of web traffic are going to waste and it's really difficult for a small website to even begin to market their web traffic. They have so little, it's a small amount, it's not worth marketing. If they do, it would be with Google, okay? This chart shows Google's, the green bar is how much market share they put they claimed. Google has 95.4% of the ad network business. And Amazon's number two at 3%. And uh, at present, Google is only on 31.4% of the websites. Does anybody have a question on that? Okay. Now, the link at the bottom is where this um, stat I don't know if anybody's hearing me. I hear you. Okay. It's getting really bad here on my end. Um, can people mute their, their microphones? Unless they want to talk. Okay. All right. So. Google is only 
currently on 31.4% of the websites and 61.67.1% of the websites on this is the way I interpret this script, is they are not monetizing, they're not turning their web traffic into money. And they're letting that potential money just go to waste, go roll off the table, however you want to phrase it. It's just they're not trying to make money with that web traffic. And I think the possible reasons and everybody can do their own thinking on this. It's open to a lot. And if we can figure this, the reasons for that many people um, not participating, then we'll have to solve the problem, the big problem that keeps Google from getting everything. Okay, but I have something to add. I have a fourth item to add to that. Okay, Steve. Good. Um, it cheapens the look of your website to have an ad. Now, if you're getting a lot of money for the thing, that's fine. Okay. But, you know, I mean, unless you're going to get quite a bit of money for that ad, uh, why bother? Just, you know, I mean, when the guy comes to troubleshooters.com and he says he sees all sorts of banner ads and stuff, uh, it's like, what an amateur. Okay. Um, so if, you know, I, I've been, I've had a website since 96, okay. and a few times that I had other people's ads on, it was, it was for some money, you know, like $50 for a month or something. That was back in the old days, you can't get that now. Um, but anyway, that's a fourth reason. But I think it, that might fit under inclination. That okay. you're not in, you're not inclined to, and, and and you're right. It does it can cheapen. A lot depends on the ad and and this and that. But on an individual basis, yeah, you were dealing one on one with an advertiser to put their ad on your website. Where um, in this case, if you look at the screen now, like Coach Mitch, he's a blogger. He's got um, articles that he's writing. He's a he's He's actually either putting his information out there for free, and most partners I know, the big question on their mind is, how do I make money with my blog? Um, but that's going to go away. What's going to? It's going to go away? Yeah, so, it's, so look at the trend that you see right now with uh, the BSV Bitcoin platform. The, uh, Calvin Air gave a $10 million grant to Strumanity, for people to upload their podcasts and things like that, and then they get paid for their content. So at some point, you're going to start seeing these things roll out where people are going to have podcasts, blogs, where they upload for $0.20, cents, $0.50, cents, and yeah, maybe, they get paid for this long. It, it, it might be, but but here's, here's how this works, is that Coach puts out his content, and if you visit his website, one, you don't have to pay, like with the Brave browser. Um, two, he's, our product is appealing to a very narrow um, um, product list. It's the advertiser. So the person who's interested in advertising with Coach Mitch because of his content will come in here and they will say, oh, okay, this advertising platform is worth me advertising in. And I will sign up at Coach site because I like Coach, and he's going to get 50% of what I spend. And it basically becomes a way for an advertiser to sponsor, in addition to advertising. And we would, me and, me and Steve were talking about the Play browser because somebody um, couldn't um, couldn't use our blogs, our, our our webinar software with Brave either, and um, he. Steve asked what Brave was, and I, I was saying, you know, um, it, it pays you to watch advertising. I don't think they're going to get anybody. I, I'm sorry. What kind of what kind of person would sit there and just watch advertising all day? And then depends how much money they get. Well, I, yeah, but yeah. just because they're paying me money to watch to watch a Lamborghini ad doesn't mean I'm even qualified to, to buy it.
Okay, so that was one of our meetings uh, for GoLug, July 3rd, uh, 2019. Give me a few moments and we'll uh, continue on. This is already, already ran 20 minutes long. Stand by and I'll start another video.